Good morning, everybody. The chief guest, Dr. Beatrice Inyagara, a principal secretary, State Department for Higher Education and Research, Ministry of Education. Archbishop Jackson Oresapit, the head of ACK, the Chancellor Professor John Stratus. I also want to salute my co founder, Dr. Jane Nyutu, who is my dear wife, who we have worked uh, very uh, closely. She is not with me uh, here today, but she sent me uh, greetings, and I want to take this opportunity because I know from wherever she is, uh, she is uh, following this graduation ceremony, and I want to thank her very sincerely for continuing to believe in the dream of establishing Mount Kenya University. And I want to tell this congregation that uh, my dear wife, I met her at Kenyatta University some times back. And I was, uh, when we met, we were I was 22 years old when she decided to put me in a box. <laughs> and since then, I have remained in that, uh, in that box. And we have walked this journey uh, together. So when we are talking about 25, uh, 25, 25th graduation ceremony, we have seen this uh, a journey uh, together. I will not go to the other salutations because uh, the others who, who talked before me, they uh, recognized the rest. I just want to say all the protocols are uh, observed. I just want to just look uh, next to me and uh, I'll introduce to you uh, Bishop Ole Sapit, who is Jackson Ole Sapit, who is seated next to me. He is seated next to me uh, not because I belong to ACK, uh, indeed I belong to a Presbyterian, but I want to say that we have been talking over the phone uh, with Bishop uh, Ole Sapit uh, for quite some time. And we agreed that one of these uh, good days, we will meet and know each other. And I want to say today is the day, of course I know him because he's a public figure. This is uh, the first time we are meeting and I decided uh, that uh, I will invite him and we know each other uh, over areas of common interest in supporting our young people that we share uh, in common. So he is here today uh, to support us uh, in uh, whatever we are doing. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I take this opportunity to welcome all of you, our esteemed visitors, staff graduates, as well as their parents, guardians, and sponsors. Today's 25th graduation ceremony brings together our graduates from Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, Somaliland, and other diaspora countries which exemplifies the commitment of Mount Kenya University to continue providing educational opportunities to qualified trainees beyond our boundaries. 
our chief guests, the chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, despite the many unemployment challenges we may find ourselves in as a country, East African region, or the world, let us not give up in ensuring that our children are educated to the highest level possible. And I want to quote Nelson Mandela, who said education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have heard our young people articulating their sentiments on the need for us to create employment opportunities in our countries. This we have heard. Our young people have talked, we have reasoned, and we have heard. This fact, I agree that there is a need for us in the East African region, uh, for the government, for the private sector, to create jobs within ourselves. And I want to say as private sector, as we endeavor to create jobs in our own ways, let us also encourage our young people to explore opportunities, build our boundaries. It's not uncommon sometimes to fight our young people going to primary school in the local areas, secondary school, university in the uh, county, and also they also want to look for jobs in the same county. I want to tell our young people that uh, time has come that we also explore opportunities beyond our boundaries. Our theme uh, today on sustainability, and I want to say that a university cannot become so, uh, sustainable if it is not contributing to, uh, uh, to society's change, and also if its graduates are not employed. I want to say in this regard, our chief guests, that I have personally supported the establishment of a partnership deal between Mount Kenya University and the University of Coblenz uh, to provide apprenticeship opportunities for nursing professionals from Eastern African uh, countries to work in Germany hospitals. I am delighted to report to this congregation that the first eight cohort of the people, of our students that we supported have already traveled to Germany in April 2024. And the second cohort of seven are a part of this graduation and will be traveling to Germany in September 2024. With due respect, uh, our chief guest I want to take, just because I came with some few envelopes here, uh, not your degree certificates uh, today, uh, but these are, uh, are uh, letters, uh, employment contracts, air tickets, and uh, myself and uh, my wife, Dr. Jane, to congratulate those eight apprentices who are traveling to Germany, we decided to also give them some few euros, and we have also paid for them air tickets, and and we also go, we have also paid for them visas uh, to enable them to travel uh, to Germany. Uh, before I give you these uh, envelopes. As a testimony of uh, our commitment, I want to tell you that sometimes back when I was young, uh, I was about that uh, two years and I traveled to Germany for a trip. And I could not be able to talk a German language. And uh, I had a camera, that time there were no phones. And I met somebody who had a motorbike and I could not be able to talk to tell him to take me uh, a photograph. So I used my hands and I was showing him this camera and me, I was talking in tongues. <laughs> and this gentleman, because we could not talk because of language barrier, thought that I have given him my camera. <laughs> and he took the camera and uh, back to his bike 
And I tried to run to him, asking him that I was not giving him, but the bike was faster than me, and my camera went. So when you go to Germany, because you know how to speak, I want you to look for that gentleman, to look for my camera. And if you get that gentleman, <laughs> I want my camera back <laughs> so that I can come and, 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 and keep it uh, to myself. So, because uh, I don't want to take a lot of time, so here with this we have the employment contract, the air tickets, 200 euros uh, each, and uh, visas that uh, we have paid for the interview. And when you go to Germany, I know you are going for apprenticeship. You will not go there as illegal immigrant, you will go there as legal migrant. And I'm not saying that when you go, you stay there. Uh, I'm saying you go and come back, but if you get better opportunities, please utilize them and stay there. And uh, remember that we supported you. If you can be able to support others to go to Germany, please, uh, I humbly request you to do the same and, uh, and support others. So this, this is what we have done for you. I don't know you, so don't say that uh, these are the people I know, I have never met them. So you are just lucky, and this luck, you take it and uh, remember us as a country, whatever you can be able to do to help us in uh, the challenges we have, please do so. Congratulations. A picture? So I wish you the, the very best. And I want also to say that in support of this initiative, the German government, through the development agency called DAD, has seconded, and they have paid fully, a lady called Charlotte Catherine Fibre to assist Mount Kenya University in training students in the German language. The training is mandatory, part of the pre preparation. And uh, the lady who is coming who has a master's degree in social and cultural anthropology from the University of Kologin, Germany, and a bachelor's degree in German language and literature as well as social and cultural anthropology. And I want to say that her costs are fully paid for by the German government, meaning that whatever we are doing is, uh, is fully supported by that, uh, by the government of Germany. I also want to say that also Austria, we are also working with Austria uh, government, and we have already signed an MOU with the Austrian health authorities uh, and an institution called TIRO, which will integrate 40 trained MKU nurses into Austrian hospitals. And uh, we are also looking and proud, uh, we are also proud to announce that the first two candidates, Abin and Carlo, are set to depart <coughs> in October. Allow me to congratulate 
them. And additionally, of our 15 candidates are completing the German uh, training and we will join them shortly. So I'm trying to say the point is that let us also look, build our boundaries and try to look for these opportunities. And I want to say myself and the university management, we are willing to support our students to actualize the same. Uh, in October this year, we will launch our Marid Maritime Academy, and I want to say that uh, once it is launched and operational, it will provide uh, training for standards of training and certification and watch keeping, basic and advanced training for the first time uh, in this region. Previously, individuals had to travel to Korea and other Asian countries for these mandatory courses to join the merchant navy, cruise ships, and other officials. Additionally, we will be launching a Bachelor of Nautical Sciences program, making us the first university in the region to train ship captains and officers. Um, to our Zen Z, who are active users and consumers of esports, I'm delighted, delighted uh, to announce that Mount Kenya University, in collaboration with Esports Kenya Federation, will establish an esports training center at the newly refurbished student center. Uh, establishment of this esports center will equip our students with skills that will enable them to generate an income and even make a career via the Yahobi esports. The groundbreaking initiative will leverage on MKU's resources for space provision, operational support, and academic integration alongside the Federation's expertise in equipment provision and technical support and training. Uh, as before I conclude my remarks, I want to thank the World Bank funded innovation grant through the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry that has established an innovation and incubation center at Mount Kenya University to support early stage businesses in the fields of manufacturing, agriculture, the creative economy, health and ICT. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude my remarks, allow me to look back at our previous graduates who were unable to collect their certificates due to valid reasons, the main one being non completion of fees at the graduation time. Um, I, we realized, and I was asking that, uh, I was told, I asked before I, I came to this when I was being invited to attend this uh, uh, graduation ceremony by uh, the management, I requested to be given uh, details on our previous graduates. And I realized that uh, last time, I think uh, two years ago, I said there were those students uh, who, unable, who had been unable to collect their certificates because of uh, uh, late uh, return of the gowns and other small things, and I waved the same. This time, uh, I looked aloud and I realized that there are some who have been unable to collect the certificates because of uh, that they graduated, they went to graduation without clearing the fees. And I said that uh, uh, by looking at what was happening the other day, where Zen Z decided that uh, if you have longed, if you have longed them, they say they will greet you. <laughs> and I said that, uh, <laughs> I said that uh, these uh, people with whom we have the certificates allowed, we are locking their dreams and their children might come for us after some time and say you locked the dreams of our fathers and our mothers and therefore we want to greet you. So because of the fear of being greeted, <laughs> today Mr. Chancellor sir, I, we decided that uh, we will direct, uh, I will direct the university 
to release the certificates unconditionally to all those affected <clears throat> to all those affected by the fee balances uh, and this one we will see the university uh, the almost forfeiting about it, uh, two million uh, Kenya shillings on this uh, particular endeavor. But I'm also saying, but I'm also saying, if you are a given, like the ones we are sending to Germany, also if you are lucky and you get a job, that does not mean the fact that we have said you correct does not mean that that, ba that balance is not there. You will not, I said unconditionally. But remember that if you are lucky, just give back whatever uh, you are waived. And I'm saying in case you do so, any fees that is collected from that will go to the Chancellor's scholarship fund, not to the university. And, uh, and this gesture, I should also incorporate the previous graduates of our university uh, campus in Rwanda, now the Mount uh, Kigari uh, University. Uh, as I conclude my remarks, allow me to congratulate uh, two of our graduates. One is uh, Honorable Florence Kajuju, who is uh, with us here. She is the CEO, Commission for Administration uh, of Justice, uh, popularly known as Obdsman. And the reason why I'm, <laughs> yes, Kajuju, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this is because I know previously uh, when our students uh, used to miss marks, they used to write to her commission to intervene. And uh, today, uh, Honorable Kajuju, I want to tell you that you will not be receiving those letters because I was told the issue of missing marks by this university is a thing of the past. So congratulations, Honorable Kajuju. I also want to congratulate one of the gentlemen. Of, uh, he is a Kenyan, but uh, has been working in WADA, uh, called James. Uh, James is now the general manager of Serena Kifu. James, where are you? Congratulations, James. I met, <laughs> I met James in Rwanda when I was establishing uh, the, our campus in Rwanda, and uh, he took care of me, and I encouraged him to uh, join the university for his further studies. The marketing team, you see, I have been uh, somehow working for you. You should be able to consider giving me something for marketing for you. Uh, thank you, thank you, James. Uh, we are incredibly proud of you and look forward to seeing the remarkable achievements you will uh, accomplish in the future. I wish you the very, the very, very best in whatever you try to do for your life and livelihood. God bless you. Uh, having finished my remarks, allow me to invite Commissioner Dr. Mirega Turu, one of our